Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today to remember and celebrate Vincent Augustini, who lost his life due to complications for neurofibromatosis on January 7, 2022. Vince, as his friends and family called him, was born in Johnson City, New York on September 7, 1979. He was the seventh child of his mother, Dolores, and father, Louis. Vince was a quintessential upstate New Yorker. He loved New York, and especially the southern tier, where he spent his entire life in his cherished hometown of Johnson City, New York. Vincent enjoyed all things life, from our terrific sports teams to our delicious and unique regional food choices. He loved rooting for the New York Yankees and the New York Giants. He savored hearty spe chicken speedies, a Binghamton specialty, and enjoyed extra crispy buffalo chicken wings. When he was not watching the Yankees or the Giants, Vince was also a huge fan of professional wrestling. However, few things brought him as much joy as following the New York Yankees, and God loves Yankee fans. Decked out in, in Yankees gear with a large Yankees logo displayed proudly on the back window of his van, Vince made several sacred trips from Johnson City to the Bronx to watch his beloved Bronx Bombers play. For his 34th birthday, Vince trekked to the Bronx to watch the Yankees take on their biggest rivals, the Boston Red Sox. Before the game, Vince had the special honor of being escorted onto the field of the Yankee Stadium, a high pride for him. He continued to attend every Saturday home game at Yankee Stadium until his declining health made it impossible for him to travel. But the one thing Vince cherished most in the world was his devoted and his loving family. As the youngest of seven siblings, the Augustini siblings were a source of mutual love, support, and inspiration to each other. From family reunions to holidays and birthdays, Vince spent countless hours with his family, especially his mother, Dolores, with whom he shared a special bond. As Vince's health inevitably declined, Dolores devoted her life to providing him with loving care. The relationship Vince and his mother shared was the epitome of unconditional love. And even when his health began to deteriorate rapidly, Vince was more worried about his own mother, about his own mother than even about himself. In his final moments on earth and his family, his family tearfully expressed emotional and final goodbyes, Vince mouthed the words to all of his brothers, please help mom. Vince was selfless, his courage in the face of a difficult battle to fight a lifelong and terribly debilitating disease is beyond inspiring. And most importantly, despite all the pain he endured throughout his life, Vince was unwavering in his compassion and his care for all of those who he encountered. Vince was forever grateful to the kindness of the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Vince was the 500th kid chosen from the Make-A-Wish Foundation of Central New York. And in November 1997, Vince had the amazing once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to bring his brothers and his father to, to, to Chicago to meet Bulls superstar Michael Jordan, the greatest of all. Vincent was truly generous at heart and wanted to make sure other children got the same opportunity, which is why he was a frequent donor to the Make-A-Wish Foundation of Central New York, as well as the Neurofibromatosis Foundation. Vince spent most of his last two years at the Willow Point Nursing and Rehabilitation Center. However, this did not stop him from doing what he loved, watching sports, eating speedies and chicken wings, and of course, loving his family and friends. The Augustini family wishes to express their immense appreciation to the staff at Willow Point for the loving care that was provided to Vince through his final days on earth. When the pandemic restrictions prohibited visitors, the staff at Willow Point made extraordinary efforts to ensure that Vince was treated as a family member and had constant virtual access to his own family at home. Sadly, Vince passed away on January 27, 2022, surrounded by his loving family. Although neurofibromatosis created many challenges for Vince, he refused to let his disability affect his spirits or his passion for life. He never let the disease define him. Vince will be always be remembered for his infectious smile, his charming sense of humor, and his zest for life. As President Abraham Lincoln said, quote, in the end, it's not the years in life that count, it's the life in your years. In the short 42 years of his life, 
Vince made every single day count. He lived every day with kindness and gratitude. Vince's perseverance and tenacious, tenaciousness were an inspiration to his family, friends, and all of those who were lucky enough to know him. I ask uh, today that all of my colleagues join me in observing a moment of silence to remember the incredible life of Vincent Agostini. Thank you. And to the Augustini family, please know we send our deepest condolences and prayers. May Vincent rest in peace. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I yield back.